I'm John Bishop, a visual artist here in Houston, Texas. I'm originally from Houston, but have lived most of my life abroad. Uh, I just moved home in 2015 to start a creative business with my husband, and we have been dedicating ourselves full-time to art ever since. So the whole idea here is to create what I'm calling a legacy series. The legacy series is a, a collection of paintings that will span my entire art career from now until I'm 80 years old. I'm calling the series Panka Marga. Now that's a Sanskrit word that I'm probably mispronouncing, but it's a Buddhist concept, a Buddhist teaching, that says that when one reaches the level of a bodhisattva, which is kind of equivalent of a, a Buddhist saint, then instead of being at the top of the, their perfection, they actually at that level see that there are five more roads. And each road they need to traverse in order to reach their perfection, their Buddhahood. And I thought that was a good metaphor for what I'm doing with this series. Because I've reached a level in my life, and my career, that I've, when most people are just shutting down, I'm now starting something new. Starting over when you're in your 60s is never easy. When most people are starting to, to retire and, and end their careers, I'm starting a new one. And that's been really, really rewarding for me and also a little bit frightening. And the whole idea of the, the legacy series is to create a, a record of my entire art career. Now, that makes things very collectible because as I grow as an artist, my work will change. This is a great opportunity to start investing in my art career at the very onset because, you know, if any luck, I'm going to make more money and be worth more later on. These works are individual. There will be nothing else like them. They don't even look like the other work that I've done. In fact, I think they're the best paintings I've ever painted. And so there is a commitment to my collectors that they're going to join me on this on this journey and I'm hoping that my expression of what I'm feeling inside comes through in those paintings and that as a as a collector you can see your own life in my paintings as well Now in the Pankamarga there are five roads. The first road is the road of accumulation. And that's what I'm calling this installment of my legacy series. My legacy series will be a collection of 100 paintings that I will release 20 at a time every five years between now and the time that I'm 80. So this first installment of 20 paintings that, that is on display now is called the Path of accumulation. Now the concept there is that when you reach Buddha, when you reach your Bodhisattva, when you reach that level of perfection, you bring with you all of your past lives, all of your experiences. And I'm kind of doing the same thing in my career because I'm bringing with me all of my past experience with art, all of my past business experience and education, and all of my life experiences have led me up to this point. And you'll see that in the work. The work has lots and lots of levels of complexity. There's lots of busyness going on under the surface. And hopefully some very, very calming images and color, color schemes laying on top to kind of give a, a calmness to all of, this, all of this chaos that has been my life thus far. As an abstract painter, I think that all of my work is autobiographical. I, my, my emotions, my, my history all comes through in the paintings. And what I really hope that people will realize and understand and experience when they look at my art is not necessarily what I'm feeling when I, when I made the painting, 
but that they will bring their own vocabulary, their own, their own interpretation to a piece of work, and they'll see their lives, and they'll see their experiences and their emotions in my art. Now, obviously, I would love everyone to collect my art, and, and, and of course, I hope that you will become one of the collectors. But even if you don't, if you're just looking at my art, I really, really hope you'll make that connection so that my art can become your art as well. I've always been interested in art. I know that, for example, I wanted to go to the high school for the performing and visual arts here in Houston. My parents said no. And then in college, I wanted to study art and music, and my parents said no. But I did go to the University of St. Thomas here in town, and I studied liberal arts, and I was able to take up painting and theater, language. I started doing creative writing, and that carried through until I really started my professional life. And I swore to myself at that time that I would never leave that creative process behind. I would find a way to incorporate it. Well, you know, life gets in the way. And after 30 years of working as a librarian, I'm now coming back to art. And I, I'm saying, you know, this is my last chance to really dedicate myself to what I've always loved. I've worked on this series for a long time, and it represents all of my life up to this point. And so it's a really, really important collection to me. And I'd like to thank you sincerely for being part of this experience, being part of this segment of uh, release of my Pankamarga series. And I really hope that you'll continue to follow my career as I move forward. Thank you again. Mm -hmm.